Oh yes, that's right, make sure I can. <laughs> Dick Baxter, I'm chair of French in the Summer Common. I've been facing the Common for 14 years now. My front door opens straight onto the Common. And I tell my relations it's my front garden. So I have an interest in it. And over the last decade, like a lot of the comments here, I've been aware that trees have been disappearing fast off that common, cut down and disappearing. They're not being replaced. That's not strictly true. We've had two small plantings, both of which were funded by private money. The first one was on Buck Green by the Cambridge Preservation Society putting in a large tranche of money. And a few years back, Friends of Midsummer Common and Friends collected money to get further parties on there. So some of the trees we look on as ours. But overall, the numbers have been going down. And that's very sad. I am actually going interested as an individual living there, but I then got more interested in it because of my association with Friends of Midsummer Common. And I started my inquiries by a document produced 2001, nearly a decade ago, which looks at trees on the common. It maps every single tree on the common, gives its condition, says what ought to be done. And it was put on a shelf somewhere in the city hall, and nothing ever happened. A few years back, a couple of years back, Wildlife Trust came in and did the same again. They produced a map, every tree on this summer common, put down its conditions, and did that. I made contact with a botanist, I think, in the university, who has also mapped every tree on this summer common put down this condition, Mr. Passett. And of course, the tree people in the council also have a map of every tree on Midsummer Common. So where are we going from here? Not much action. Oh, we are. We're going to get another survey of every tree on Midsummer Common, which I've heard this evening, Conservation One, mapping the trees to find out what condition they are. We've got to the stage where we see these trees disappearing, but no plantings. And this is the big opportunity to do it, and I just hope we do get on and do it and we don't have people putting the site. In looking at the planting profile, I had a quick sit round and looked at it. Barry uh, Higgs came with me once. I had a friend from Leeds who's into a career in planning all his life and deals with trees who came down last weekend and we walked round and looked at all the propositions. And then we had a discussion a few nights back so the committee of friends which come and come and went through them and discussed them, and we produced a paper which was our thoughts on the proposal. I believe councillors have been a copy of this. My members have been referred to it on the website, which basically goes through all the areas listed up there, saying what we think about them. And if I might quickly go through them, the stretch from Victoria Avenue Bridge down to the Forts of George Pub, two trees going in there, seems fine except we think one of them is in the middle of a bit of tarmac, but that's for them to sort out. They come up with a proposition that the tree disappeared a few years ago in front of the garden of Midsummer House restaurant at Crap Willow. Mysteriously disappeared, was cut down. We think it ought to be reinstated. We think there's scope for putting another Crap Willow further down on the pound that the council owns on their property to cut out the urban fabric behind, to make it more pleasant. And then going down the river bank itself, this is the one area where all these reports comment on the terrible state of the trees along that river bank. And I think the conservation uh, one says that really this is part of the hailing way that goes from Water Beach into Cambridge, which is predominantly willow and black poplar. It ought to be reinstated in that form. And I think basically doing that, which is quite rightly as commented on the spatial disposition of those, but I think there's great scope along there but getting that right at long last, getting some planting in there to, put, to carry on that hailing way and make it look like the rest of that river bank. And that's good. And then in the town at the end, in front of the Barclay Homes site, what they're doing, I think, fits in with what people said. A little bit of shielding there, both of the bridge and of the site itself. The site is going to be very dominant when it really gets built, but nevertheless, those trees they're putting down there will be good. So no comments on that one. And then we come to this difficult area in front of, well, the south side in front of the housing. And I went across the common the other day and photographed the trees all around the common. Because one of the leading points that came out of the questionnaire and the instructions I've had is people using the common somehow want the urban fabric shielded. They don't like us living in these houses. They prefer to see trees in front of them. 
And so I photograph the scenery out there, and I plonk onto those photographs the trees that's on this document are being proposed here. It's quite good in many senses. It gives a not total coverage, a little bit of shielding, but you know, councillors, I hope, will look at it and see where they're achieving what the large number of people who answered the questionnaire wanted, which is some shielding of the urban fabric. Uh, the buttering one on the toilet seemed to be popular, in spite of comments made there, people did want more trees there. And comments on the, the Victoria Avenue, well, we know the problems there. But if I can come back just to finish with, with the, about, with the trees in front of North Terrace, I put my hand up and say I live on North Terrace. I didn't sign the petition. In front of my house, there is to the right a lovely lime, uh, lime tree and a chestnut, two doors along on one side, and a walnut tree, two doors to the left. And we get a nice view through them. I like the trees, there they are. I can't see all the palm, but I can see a nice bit through there. Lovely. Well, it was lovely, because I now look at the map, and in that little space in front of my front door, lo and behold, the trees are planted there. So I won't be able to see anything in the future, and so I think I ought to sign the petition, but I won't, because I can't, you know. And my interest, friends with someone common, is the people crossing the common, and I happen to be on the other side. I'm relieved, fortunately, because in my little committee when we were discussing this, they said I need not worry, because lime trees take a long time to grow, <laughs> and by the time the view is obscured, I'll be dead. <laughs> I'll end my comments there, thank you. Thank you, I think I'll probably just note that those down are generally supportive. Um, okay, can we have one more? Okay, so,